What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. There's some stuff on my lens, but I'll fix it later. Guys, I'm really excited about this. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2018, mm, let's call it the 2018 winter, would it be 2019? Well, we're just gonna call this the 2018 winter, the Nick Box! I know this is technically the winter box, I just don't know if it's technically 2018, or 2019, because my consideration is winter starts in January, but anyways. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go to put all the pricing details in the description below. A little bit of backstory, Culturefly makes this box. All of these items will be licensed and exclusive to this box. This is a quarterly subscription box, which means that it comes once every three months. It did come wrapped in plastic, but I unwrapped the plastic. So once you unwrap the plastic and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Now, the last Nick box I wasn't a huge fan of. It was the first time that I felt like I really just didn't enjoy the box as much as I have in the past. Um, I don't think I've seen any spoilers for this box. Maybe one. Nothing's looking very familiar. So let's just go ahead and check it out and see what we got. So the first item that we got is a pin set. And this is from Rocco's Modern Life. And this is called the Flu Influenza uh, pin set. So you have all of the little like germs right there. Sitting with Rocco and Spunky. I kind of feel like this right now, so that's like perfect timing for that. All right, the next item we have is a Ren and Stimpy item. It is like a cloth or something. Oh. Why do they put Ren and Stimpy on this? Like, why would they tag this Ren and Stimpy? This is a good burger. It looks like a pillowcase. It is a pillowcase. There's a zipper on the bottom. This is a very small pillowcase. You have to get a smaller throw. It's not like the normal size of most um, like throw pillows. It's interesting to me that they literally stuck this Ren and Stimpy thing on because this is not a Ren and Stimpy product. But it's a good burger product, which is, which is also cool. Okay, next we have this item. It looks like a can of sardines. Oh, these are Jolly Good Sardine Socks, and these are from the Wild Thornberries. Oh, these are cool. So we got crew socks, and they say Wild Thornberries on the top, and then there's just a bunch of sardines. I love this color match up with the blue and the teal. I'm such a fan of that. They look like they're gonna fit. They look like a good size, I think. Sometimes it's hard with socks, you can never tell. Next, we have a Reptar and Ice item. It's dinging. Oh, it's a kitchen timer. Ooh, cool, let's see what that looks like. So it's basically like the design on the box. You have Reptar and I don't know what the girl's name is, um, but you can turn this thing. There's, I was like, oh no, it's already peeling, but it's because there's a protective like plastic cover on these so you can peel that off. Oh, I've never really used a kitchen timer like this to be honest, but I don't think it's a bad thing to have on hand because sometimes you can't always use the microwave kitchen timer, you know? Like that's just a thing. So there's that, let me bring that, okay. Next we have a Rugrats item. I don't know what this is, but I'm excited to open it. Cookie stamps, oh. They come in this cool little pouch and, and once you take your cookie stamps out, you could potentially use this pouch as a pencil case, which is nice, dual purpose. Okay, oh this is neat. So it has this wooden like thing, and I think you shove the handle in this thing, and then there's these three, uh, these are the rubber or silicone stamps. There's Angelica, Chucky, and then Tommy and you basically fit this on the stamp, and they do. I don't know, like, cookie stamps, because usually when you <clears throat> bake cookie dough, it just like flattens out, so I don't know, is this something that you would stamp after they're done cooking? Or are you supposed to do that technically before, before they're done? I don't know, I'm, I'm like the worst baker in the whole world, so I stay away from baking. Okay, next we have, is this an apron? So we have a Nick item, it says Good Burger on it. Is this an apron? 
Oh, okay, I see what they did. They messed up their tags. They messed up their tags. This tag, which says Good Burger, should have gone on the pillowcase, and this tag, which is Red and Stimpy, should have gone on this one. Because this is an apron of, now I always call him French Toast Man, but I think his name is Powdered Toast Man. Not a huge fan of Ren and Stimpy, but this apron fits me perfectly, which is amazing. I wish I had pockets. That would make this even cooler, but, oh, sorry, here's the design. I love aprons, guys. There's just something about aprons that I, I just really like them. Oh, I'm excited about these. We have, the next item is a set of magnets. It's two magnets. I need to go to GameStop because they called me and my pre-order showed up. We have Arnold and Gerald in their fruit costume. Oh, and these are magnets. So I'll definitely put these probably over there in my vent because my, my um, refrigerator is not magnetized. These are the new uh, Funko Pops actually that they just released or they're releasing now. They, they were GameStop exclusive. So I'm very excited to get my hands on those that's gonna be really cool we have another good burger item and it says a squishy burger oh i hope it's a squishy is it a squishy <gasps> yes i actually have a squishy just like this that i got off amazon this is just a burger squishy it's not super slow rising but it's okay like it's good enough it does its job it says good burger on the top that's really the only thing that makes it like a good burger thing. It's really just a burger mm. squishy, but I'm for it. I'm for it. Gosh, I just want to sit here and squish things. The last item that we have is our vinyl figure, and this is Mr. Tasty from Pete and Pete. That's a cool vinyl figure. It's a little bit obscure, but I wasn't a, I watched Pete and Pete, but it wasn't my favorite show. Mm. It wasn't my favorite mm. show. It wasn't my favorite show on Nickelodeon, but I watched it. It was like, you know, it was one of those shows that I would watch if it was on, but I wouldn't necessarily like plan to watch it, you know? So that's a cool figure. There is a base behind it. Pretty straightforward. Their figures are cool. Like they're nothing special. They're not like Funko Pops to me, but they're cool. Um, all right, that is everything in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Here's our recap card. I'm going to say already, I feel like I like this box better than I liked last month's box. I don't or last time's box, the last quarter box, although I don't really fully remember it, but let's go ahead and price some of these things out and go from there. Okay, so the first one we have is our Powdered Toast Man Kitchen Apron. I would say that if this had really nice packaging, um, I would give it maybe like 10 to 12. I think because it, it just kind of is like this, I would say probably eight to 10. So I think $8 is fair for that. It's fairly simple. It's nothing like, nothing too fancy, but it's still a cool apron. Our Mr. Tasty Vital figure, um, I think you could easily give this $10. I usually give exclusive figures anywhere from 10 to $15. I would say $12 is fair for that, 12 or 13. We could do 12 50, let's do 12 50. Next, we had our Wild Thornberry socks. These are actually really nice socks. I'm a fan of these. And they're they're um, a better material than, you know, I've been getting the sock advent calendars. Those socks are a little bit thin. These ones have a little bit more like, uh, I don't know. They're just a little bit thicker. They're a little bit, you can tell that they're a little bit better quality. I think you could easily give that $5. And if you're a Wild Thornberries fan, it's cool because when do they ever make Wild Thornberry socks, you know? Next, we have our Good Burger Squishy. Um, squishies are expensive. I think you could easily give this thing anywhere from $4 to $5. I wouldn't mind giving this $5 because I would pay $5 for this. You might even be able to give it more, but I'll stick with $5. We had our Good Burger Pillow Cover. Um, again, it's a little bit small. I like the material, though. I don't, you can't really tell, but it's like soft. It's like kind of a soft, fuzzy material. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but I think you could give that probably around $5. We had our two magnets, which I absolutely love. Uh, I wouldn't mind giving this, I wish it was packaged a little better, but I wouldn't mind giving those $3 for the set of two. Probably a little bit overpriced, but I really like it. We have our Reptar on Ice Kitchen Timer. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I think that you could probably give this thing anywhere from $5 to $7, and I think $6 is fair for that. We had our Rugrats cookie stamps. I still don't fully understand how you use that, but I like the packaging, I like the designs, I like the concept, I think. I would say that you could give this anywhere from six to eight dollars would be fair. Like I could see these going for like $6.99 or $7.99. Um, why don't we go ahead and do, 
I've been pricing things a bit low. Why don't we go ahead and do eight dollars? And then the last item that we got is our uh, pin set from Rocco's Modern Life, Enchanted Upchucks. Um, I would say, oh, I see. Oh, this is the throw-up pins. They're not the germ, sorry, because there's like cheese and a hot dog and stuff. Um, it's a cool pin set. I would say that you could probably give each of these pins two to three dollars, and there's three of them. I think ten dollars for this set's a little bit pricey, but I think around the eight dollar mark would be fair. Eight dollars might be kind of high for that. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, the packaging's nice. We'll give it eight. We'll give it eight. Maybe six to eight. Let's give it seven. Okay. That is everything in the box. According to my pricing, this box is worth $59.50. Let's just round up and give it a straight $60. And how much does this box cost? All right, I get the annual subscription, which means that each of these boxes cost $53. If you get the, um, the quarterly subscription, it costs $57. So I say that this box is worth about $60. I paid $53, which means we got $7 extra value on top of what we paid for. That's not great compared to my old rating, although now that's kind of gone out the window because subscription boxes are a little bit dying right now, and so I don't really expect to get as much extra value. I'm glad this box broke even. I'm glad that it got a little bit extra value. If you paid $57 for this box, you still got a few dollars extra value, but it's nothing like it used to be. Like all of our subscription boxes, we used to get for a $60 box, honestly, we'd get like 20, at least $20 extra value, and now that subscription boxes just are kind of fading away. We definitely haven't seen that kind of um, extra value being received, but that's okay. That's part of the game. Um, at this point with subscription boxes, if I can break even, I'm pretty excited. And if I get any extra money, then I'm like really excited. So all in all, I think this box was actually pretty good. Um, some of the items for me personally were hit or miss. Like I wasn't a huge fan of the vinyl figure, but I like the apron. I like the cookie stamps. I like the magnets. I like the pin set. I like the squishy. I like the sock. So I like the majority of the items. You know, it's always, again, hit or miss with these things because there's a lot of things that represent Nickelodeon. So there's a lot of things that they can do in this box. So, you know, even though I'm a huge Nickelodeon fan, the chances of me liking every single item and every single show they feature is a, it's a little bit slim because there were shows on Nickelodeon that I didn't like. Anyways, if I had to rate this box, I would give this box a four point. Mm, I would say a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I liked it, and I, I like the value. Like, I'm glad that we hit our value. I think we could have gotten a little bit extra value. And there's a couple items in there that were like, well, oh, those are okay, but they're not the greatest. So I would say 4.25 or a 4.5 out of 5 noobs is kind of where I'm thinking. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this Nick box. I do believe that I liked this Nick box better than I liked the fall box because I remember getting that shirt and I didn't really, I wasn't a huge fan of the shirt from Salute Your Shorts, but I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. What are your favorite items? What do you guys think of the value? Just, yeah, just share your thoughts. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Miss Pearl of the South. Miss Pearl of the South, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support, especially because you support my vlogs, and I appreciate that greatly because I know that only not a lot of people support my vlog. So, Miss Pearl of the South, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for, for supporting my channel. I appreciate it, and I want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Miss Pearl of the South! Shout out to you! All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!